If my baby hairs can just behave today, that would be lovely. <laughs> so lovely. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me in today's video. So today I'm gonna to be testing out almost a full face of like new or improved drugstore makeup and a little bit of switch beauty here and there now i picked up some products at the take a lot cosmetic sale and i basically picked up some l'oreal infallible reformulated version and the concealer as well so we'll get all into that in the video i don't want to spend too much time in the intro because I also want to talk about this past weekend's Boss Up Brunch. So as you may have heard or may, as you may have seen if you follow me on Instagram, this past weekend I hosted my first Boss Up Brunch with Selena Naidu. It, it, it was her second Boss Up Brunch which is absolutely insane and it was such an amazing makeup event. We had such amazing sponsors, Switch Beauty included and it was just amazing. If you guys haven't already seen this video that is that is up on my Instagram. I will put a clip in the video right here so you guys can kind of see some highlights of the makeup class. Okay, so I know my Durban girls have been DMing me saying, when are you doing one in Durban? When are you doing one in Durban? I get constant DMs all the time and we are trying to plan one for Durban. Like it is in the works. Just follow myself and Selena on Instagram and we are trying. We're trying to organize one, okay? But without any further ado, let's get in. To this video. So I already primed my skin with the Switch Beauty Primer Putty. Now this is a, it's not like a silicone primer. It's very silky, very smooth on the skin and it's translucent as well. It's, you can't even see any trace of it on my skin. Now the reason why I, I applied it on my skin off camera is because she's back. Yes, the microphone situation. She's on my shirt, but she's back. And so, she was not on. Love that for me. Love it. So yeah, I was having microphone and audio issues these last couple of videos because I needed to replace the batteries on this microphone, but I finally had, um, yeah. Let's just get into the, I can't speak. Let's just get into today's video. Okay, so. To apply my foundation, I'm not sure whether I want to use this Palladio sponge or this Sigma sponge. I kind of don't want to use the Sigma one. Like I want this to just sit somewhere looking pretty like on my vanity somewhere. So we're just gonna not use that one. I think I want to use the Palladio one. And I am an affiliate. Ooh. Sorry earphone users. Um, so I am an affiliate with Sigma, like I've said before, which is super fun. And so I got a PR package on there, which was also super fun. So this is what the sponge looks like. It's almost like a Real Techniques version, but it's purple. So I'm going to go ahead and wet this and I'll be back. So this is what the sponge looks like, damp. It does have a little bit of a firmness to it, but sometimes with new sponges, that's what tends to happen. Um, but it is quite soft oh yeah it's quite nice quite gentle on the skin as well so I actually didn't vlog the boss up branch and I would have loved to you guys but the way my life was set out I was actually nervous to teach the makeup class and so 
the less things I had to stress about, the better it was for me, but I'm so glad that we were able to get some footage. So thank you to Dylan from 1920 Productions. If you guys need any of your videography or photography needs met, <laughs> follow 1920 Productions. Absolutely amazing. The pictures came out amazing. I'm absolutely obsessed and I'm so glad I actually had him there to take the pictures and, you know, kind of be my support system through the whole makeup class because it was a lot, okay? It was a lot. <laughs> well, it was a lot for me, but I, I absolutely enjoyed having you guys there and just meeting you guys face to face. It just meant like everything to me, putting the face or putting a face to the Instagram handles and the YouTube handles and it was just, I loved it insane okay so let me not talk too much stories i'm going to break open the seal of this foundation it says new oxy oxygen technology i don't know what that's supposed to mean so this is basically a 24 hour fresh wear foundation and i love the old one i was still using it up until a couple of weeks ago and that's why i felt the need to just repurchase the newer formulation just kind of see what's different and all that stuff i want to see if the smell has changed and the consistency oh it's a little bit thinner in consistency but that might be relative to the first few pumps. Okay, it's definitely a lot more thinner in consistency than the older formulation. Maybe I should pump out a little bit of the older one for you guys so you guys can see. Do you see how the older one... Do you see how the older one here has a bit of a peak and this one, it's kind of running? Do you guys see that? Yeah, definitely a formulation change. So it also looks like a color change as well. So I hope it's not too much of a color change. Even though the original is slightly dark for me anyway. Literally has the same smell and I love the smell, you guys. I love the smell. I just want to see out of curiosity, like if there really is a color change. Or if it's just like an illusion. Okay, there definitely is a little bit of a color change. I'm going to have to say the new formula runs a little bit darker than the older version. Can you guys see that? This one is more yellow and brighter. And this just looks a little bit more warmer. Like more orange. orange. <laughs> I'm just going to still cover up the rest of my face with the same foundation. Just going over these areas. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with the Infallible Modern Concealer. Concealer, this is about 120, 130 Rand. I'll leave the prices on the screen so you guys can just clarify. And I believe this foundation is like 175 Rand at Discam. I did get these on sale on Take A Lot. So I'm gonna have to just double check the price. Now, this concealer woo, has a large doe foot applicator this is in the shade toffee 336 i saw anushka using this shade so i thought it's probably going to work well for me too okay this applicator thing is quite tight like i just spilled some concealer on my paper towel it has quite a quite a strong smell like it's almost like a perfumey sort of smell okay so like it's tight it is tight Whew! if that is not what he said i i don't know what he said oh this is beautiful okay i'm a marble it looks a bit crazy right now because the rest of my face is not blended the sponge also is really, really nice. 
like I'm really really enjoying it it feels really good oh this coverage though <laughs> this is beautiful And I'm not smelling. Okay, you guys, this concealer blends like a dream. The coverage is absolutely impeccable. And it's just really, really bomb. Like, look at that. What? Okay, let's set this with powder. I'm gonna go in with my Revolution Luxury Banana Powder. Because I don't really want to change my setting powder when I'm trying new foundations and concealers. You kind of want to see how it works with your existing product. Also, this is going to be so crazy, you guys, but I feel like it's creasing less. Like, I felt the need to go in with the Beauty Blender and, like, dab it again, but it's not creasing as bad as some of my other concealers do. What? This is crazy. So I'm going to be taking my Revolution Luxury Banana Powder. As always. Okay. I'm going to go in. Just pat, pat, pat under my eye. Okay. So I just finished powdering my face. And because it didn't seem to settle in my creases as soon as I applied it, I'm going to go ahead and just dust off the bake. Oh my god, this looks so good. So I have a little bit of texture like on the tops of my cheeks and stuff. And I generally do get a little bit of texture when it's change of season and all that stuff. And this, whew, it's been hot these past couple of days, you guys. Oh my god. So I'm not too mad about my texture because I know that is me and not the product. But holy guacamole. If you guys could see my skin in person right now, you'd be like... The next thing that I got was this Maybelline Fit Me Cappuccino Matte and Poreless Powder. This is what the shade is like. And I thought that because it's hard for us to kind of find bronzers at the drugstore, that I would go back to my old trick, which is using a face powder to bronze up the face. So we're gonna see if this color works well as a bronzer. This is the shade 340 Cappuccino, which is a little bit on the reddish side. And I'm just going to bronze up the side of my face. And then we're just going to compare if it does the job or if it doesn't. I think it does, though. I think it does. Like, look at the side of my face. That bronzed snatchedness. And the side of my face is just the... So I think we've actually found like a really, really nice bronzer. It's like reddish in tone. Obviously, if you guys don't like reddish bronzers, then maybe you shouldn't get this. But I actually, I like my skin to look sunburnt, you know, because it really gives you like this roast chicken look, <laughs> which you, which I don't want to get sitting in the sun. You know what I mean? This is the Palladio I'm Glowing Liquid Highlighter. Oh, it's so pretty. I wonder if we could put it over powder. That's probably a bad idea, right? I think it's a bad idea. No, no, I know it's a bad idea. But I want to swatch it. Oh, it also, oh, it also has a doe foot. I mean, maybe we can try. Look how pigmented this is. Oh, oh. What shade is this? This is the shade 24K. Actually, I can... Oh, yes, I'm going to use this. Let's just try. I'm not flipping you guys off. This is just the finger I like to blend. I don't know why though. Okay, it definitely dries down to a powdery finish. So I'm definitely feeling like I can blend this 
over my makeup. Let's hop on to eyeshadow. Now, I went to this Palladio event recently and, and along with this Palladio um, glowing highlighter and the sponge, I also got this Island Vibes palette to try out. So I'm really excited to try it out. It's mostly a shimmer palette. Um, oh, it comes with like this really cute um, sponge eyeshadow old school applicator. Um, this is the Paradise palette and it only comes with one transition shade which is this one right here and this is a matte shade as well so I'm gonna try and make this work um, I'm gonna go in with my Sigma tapered blending brush I know I'm so bad and bougie with my Sigma okay so my eyelids are definitely creasing But then my eyelids are a bit shiny, so I'm just going to take this like cool tone transition shade into the crease. Okay, you know this amount of depth is not bad, like I'm actually shook. Um, I'm going to go into the crease with a shimmer shade, which I never do, but I'm going to try just because I want to give the palette a chance, I'm going to go in with this one right here. It's like a maroony shade. Okay, so it's not too bad. I didn't build it up too much, but there is definitely, you know, a good amount of pigmentation. I just don't like shimmer shades in my crease. But I feel like you could definitely use that transition shade as a wash of color in the crease and use any one of these colors. On the lid is like a pop of color so I'm gonna take this shade right here where my hand is like a golden color and I'm gonna put this on my lid my, why does your nose always itch when you have makeup on I want to see though if I can build up like the pigmentation because it is quite sparse I'm gonna use my switch superhero Okay, definitely you need some sort of setting spray action to get pigmentation on this. As with pretty much every other like product at the drugstore, I feel like you always need to finesse it. Okay, I'm going to try using this blue color to highlight my inner tear ducts. Okay, that is way more pigmentation than I was expecting. Like this is actually quite decent. Okay, that is really not bad at all. I mean, I was kind of like uh, underwhelmed with like the other shades, but I will say, I think this palette is definitely for my natural beauties who want to experiment with color. I thought the blue was gonna be like this light blue of life and wasn't even gonna show up, but I'm surprised that it actually did, so. I'm not mad at this palette for my beginner girls out there. Try Palladio. I would highly recommend this palette, this colorful palette. I think it's not too bad, you know? But I definitely would use like an eyeshadow primer to just intensify the colors, I guess. I'm gonna go in with an oldie but a goodie. This is the Essence Volume Stylist Mascara. Also, you guys, there's a new lash brand on the block called Hebe Beauty and the lashes are so comfortable. I actually wore one of the pairs for the Boss Up brunch and I wore it like pretty much all day with no issues. Okay so this is what the lashes look like. I've fitted them all to my eye shape. So there's Nefertiti, there's Ocean and there's Milan. I'm probably gonna go in with Milan because it's more natural. I'm probably not doing eyeliner today. So I'm gonna go in with this liquid highlight from Palladio. Ooh, maybe it's a bad idea to go directly on my skin. I'm gonna go in with a fan brush. See if I can't like 
use a fan brush to blend this out oh it is very pigmented though i like the fact that this highlight though like actually dries down and you can apply it like over makeup some highlights like you can't apply it over makeup because it's very emollient based or you can't apply it over powders but i'm really liking the fact that you can apply this one over powders so so i'm gonna go into the switch beauty bubble blush palette and i'm gonna be taking this blush right here this is like a cream formula that blends or like dries down to a matte oh that's okay that's very pigmented i need to be not so heavy-handed okay so what i really like about the bubble blush from just using it is that it does dry down to a powder finish so you don't really have to go in and set it with a powder which is amazing and yeah it will literally stay like this all day long which is the bomb.com sticking with the drugstore theme i'm gonna go in with wet and wild precious petals yeah that's a little better okay and then we're gonna go in with the superhero spray from switch beauty It has the finest mist of life, you guys. And it is so refreshing and it's so cooling on my body as well. Like, I'm living my best life. It is so refreshing. So, that's, that's it. We're on the last product. We're on the last new product. This is the L'Oreal Les Chocolats Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade... 856 70% yum and this smells like chocolate you guys oh my god that legit smells like chocolate so this is a very dark color okay I think I'm done now how much more bigger can these lips get anyway I'm gonna go ahead off of camera put on some eyelashes and I'll be right back Okay everyone, so this is the finished look. You guys can see that these Milan lashes from Hebe Beauty look so natural and they are absolutely so gorgeous. I definitely have to say that I enjoyed most of the products that I tried on today. The least favorite is probably the eyeshadow palette from Palladio, but that's because I am a professional makeup artist and um, I like that pigmentation dye, you know. Okay, in terms of the foundation, I would definitely say it reminds me of the old formula. It's just really, really thin in consistency and it's just, it's the same comfortability. It smells the same. I really like the smell of the foundation. And yeah, it still looks pretty good on the skin, you guys. My highlight though has to be the concealer. I absolutely love this concealer. It doesn't crease and it's definitely not just chilling there in my under eye crease which is amazing so yeah i mean finding a concealer that i don't necessarily have to bake with is insane because i didn't even bake like the corners of my mouth or my smile line and i do have prominent smile lines and then the forehead as well like Oh my god, you guys. Like, yeah, I like the Palladio highlighter. It does dry down fast, so I would definitely use it while my product on my face is still wet. So it just makes things easier, I guess. And I will say, I don't really have an issue with liquid lipsticks being sticky. I feel like as soon as you drink something or eat something, you don't really have much of an issue. I did today, though. I went against my own principle, and I put product, like, right here which I absolutely do not do just because I don't like the effect that it gives the corner of my lips and I got it quite a bit on the side on that portion right there and I could feel I can feel the liquid lipstick sticking so yeah I would say definitely do a little definitely don't get it on these portions of your lips I don't know for me personally I don't like putting lipstick there because I feel like it just elongates my lips and that's not the vibe I'm going for so I don't put lipstick here 
at all. And now that I have it on, I'm like, ah, it's sticky, ah. But yeah, I have used a liquid lipstick like this previously. It was Miss D, Miss Danusha's, and I borrowed hers and I quite, I quite enjoyed it. But I will say, It does have a little bit of a sheen, it's not 100% matte, but it does last quite a long time. And besides the stickiness, I don't really have issues with it. It's quite comfortable on my lips right now. It's not drying, can't taste any chocolate, which is fabulous. And it's literally gonna stay put forever, which is insane. So if you guys would like me to do like a wear test of the foundation and the concealer, please do comment down below and let me know. Just so we can see, you know, how long do these products last. So that is it for this video. I'm going to stop talking now. I really enjoyed most of these products. And yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. Let me know which product are you keen to try out and all that good stuff. I hope you guys have enjoyed this long video. I know it's been a long one. I'm going to stop talking now so we can all get, on, get along with our lives. I love you so much. Don't forget to stay all day every day with Avada Makeup. Before I leave, I do have to give a, a shout out to one of the Slay members who created or was inspired by a look created by me. Oh my God, you guys, how gorgeous is this beauty right here? So, so stunning. This is T. Amara Gopal and she basically recreated that look where I did like a rainbow eye but one eye, one spectrum, one side of the rainbow and the other side, the other spectrum side of the rainbow. This came out so, so beautiful. Oh my god girl, you are so stunning. Guys, we have some of the most gorgeous Slay Squad members I've ever seen in my life. You guys are also beautiful. Keep tagging me. I cannot wait to see what the rest of you have up of your up of your sleeves. Up your sleeves. It's time for me to go. I can't speak right now. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to stay all day every day without makeup. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.